Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have a come market display shopping video to share with you guys. So in the past, I have done a lot of market videos as well as come yarn shopping with me videos. So I decided to combine the two and do a come market display shopping with me. So for this video, I am checking out Goodwill, Big Lots, Dollar Tree, and Walmart to see what I can find for my displays and to also give you some ideas for different types of items you could use for your market displays if you are interested in starting your own crochet business and making different displays to set up at markets. So this is also my first time doing a video like this where I am combining like market displays and shopping. So if you guys do enjoy this type of video, let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely do this again. I am pretty much always shopping around for different display items and always wanting to change up my market displays. So I can always do a little shopping video like this again if you guys are interested and if you enjoy this one. But with that, let's go ahead and get started on all of my shopping that I did today and then what I got at the end of this video. All right, you guys, so I'm here at the first shopping center I'm going to, and this one has Goodwill and Big Lots right next to each other, so I'm gonna be going to both of those to check them out, and then afterwards I'm planning on going to Dollar Tree and Walmart as well to see if I can find items I'm looking for, as well as just give you guys some ideas based off of what I find at my local stores, and hope that your local stores also have the same sort of items, or at least similar ones. So anyways, I'm gonna go in Goodwill first and then Big Lots. So we'll see how much I actually film in this video. I'm not 100% sure based on like if there's copyrighted music in the stores and all of that, but I will do my best to film as much as possible. So they have some brand new frying pans, which I actually got mine from here a while back as well. And I use this for my crocheted eggs. So these are cute if you guys can find them at your local Goodwill. Okay, I'm in Big Lots now. There's loud copyrighted music in all the stores, so I'm not gonna do much talking, but I will show you items that I'm finding and then type out on the screen what my ideas would be to use them as far as displays.
All right, so obviously back in the car now so I can talk to you guys without any loud music playing because oh my goodness, both stores had pretty loud music going on. Um, but kind of a bust for both of the stores, at least for items that I'm looking for. I'm more so looking for collapsible items. Big Lots is a good option for a lot of cheaper furniture, but all of it's like permanent furniture and I want stuff that's gonna be collapsible and like fits in the car easily for markets, of course. So that's not really what I'm looking for. So I'm kind of hoping maybe Walmart will have something like that. If not, I might do some Amazon shopping as well to see. But we're gonna see throughout this video what the other stores have. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and drive to Dollar Tree next because that is the next closest store. And then after that, we'll be going to Walmart. All right, made it to Dollar Tree and I also stopped by Circle K and got this giant Polar Pop. Um, to keep me going today because I'm very tired um but anyways I'm gonna go ahead into Dollar Tree and vlog if I can okay there's no music playing but it's like really quiet in the store so I feel awkward but here's what the storage section looks like which they restocked since the last time I came here so there's actually a lot more but here's what it looks like So I thought this could be cute if you make any like crochet gummy bears or like candies to put in here. These sort of storage bins are a good size for a lot of different items so you could use something like this. And same with like these ones as well and there's a few different colors. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of different items and depending on what you're looking to put in them, it's probably gonna depend on the size and everything you wanna get. But I think they have some pretty good options. And even for Easter and stuff, they have some Easter baskets, which I think would also be cute if you're gonna do any Easter markets to put like baby chicks or baby bunnies in a little Easter basket. That could be cute as a little display idea, but yeah. I'm not doing it really any Easter markets. My April market was going to be after Easter's over, so I'm not really looking for anything like that. But if you guys are, then Dollar Tree might be a good place to check out for those items as well. Also in the closet section, there's these like foldable containers, which would be good if you don't have much storage room in your car or in your house for when you're not using the market stuff. Now I have a little bowl like this but bigger and it's actually a plastic one that came from a different Dollar Tree but then I also have pebbles like this that I put at the bottom and I use that for a little fish tank display so that could also be a cute idea if you guys want to sell some crochet fish they have a lot of different like vases and stuff you could use for it but those are breakable so I wouldn't recommend those if you could find plastic ones that'd be better but I don't think this Dollar Tree has those okay this is in like the summer gardening area that's in the front of the store they have a lot of these like really bright colored bins that would be cute for spring displays I think they're actually meant for you to put plants in but I think they'd be cute they are a little bit deep but if you have a lot of one singular item you could use them and then here's the Easter baskets like I was talking about that would be cute for different displays or even baskets like this would be cute. Mm -hmm. And even some like Tupperware containers could be a good idea for some items for displays. And it's of course more budget friendly. And ones like this that look a little bit less like Tupperware containers would probably be good as well. <laughs> even here in like the party supply section, they have quite a lot of like plastic containers like this that would be cute for displays or plates like this that you could put items on especially if you have crocheted foods i think putting them on like a party plate would be really cute but yeah there's a lot of different options
I've also been seeing people put like little chicks and bunnies in these egg little things. So that's also a really cute idea if you have some spring markets. All right, again, Dollar Tree didn't really have any of the type of items I'm looking for, but I didn't really expect them to, to be honest. They have a lot of like little display items that I use, but not really like big ones. And I have pretty much everything I need for small displays and could ever want for small displays, to be honest with you. But for bigger displays, I want some more different kinds of items. So that's why I'm gonna be checking out Walmart next. As you guys saw, I was able to talk to you in the store in sections where i was alone i did talk to the camera a little bit so anyways hopefully walmart will be the same where i can like have little times where i am alone in the aisle and talk to you guys but we'll see i'm gonna go ahead and head there and fingers crossed that they actually have some items i want to get so i can show you guys a little haul at the end of this video as well but we'll see all right so we're at walmart now and i have high hopes i'm hoping they will have some stuff they should have at least one item that I'm looking for, which I'll show you guys once we get in that section. And also, just in general, I want to look around to see if they have for, like, bigger display items, like I mentioned to you guys earlier. But also, just to give you some ideas as well, if I see other items that I think would be good. So, I'm gonna go ahead in, and I shall talk to you guys, hopefully, inside the store. These are so cute. They're, of course, a lot more expensive than the Dollar Tree ones, but look at that with the little ears. There is a ton of options for Easter baskets if you wanted to use those for displays. And varying prices, of course. Like, this one's quite a bit cheaper, but I just thought the other one was really cute, too. Okay, these storage bins are the exact ones I have and they've worked out really well for me so highly recommend these in all the different sizes if you need them. There's also black and gray as well. And these ones that are in the kitchen section are also a good option. I have these in a smaller size and they have worked out really well for me as well. They came in a three pack. I also just found this that I'm actually kind of interested in. I think it could be cool. In general, the kitchen section always has a lot of good items that seem to be cheaper than the other like storage area as well. They also have more collapsible storage bins. I'm not sure how these prices compare to the ones that were at Big Lots because I didn't really pay attention at Big Lots, but they do have these that could be a good idea. They also have a ton of picture frames which could be good and they're pretty comparable to Dollar Tree. In the storage section, stuff like this could work pretty well. I just wish they had white because I would get it if they had white, but they don't. They only have black, it looks like. Alright, you guys, so I'm actually really interested in this. I think I'm gonna get it. I don't know exactly how much it is because it's in the wrong spot, but this is like a foldable cart and it says easy to assemble, no tools required. So I think it'd be something that could be folded up in the car which would be nice and it's four tiers instead of three so i'm gonna try to find where this goes in the proper spot and figure out the price before i buy it obviously i'm really interested in this so i'm hoping it's not too expensive okay you guys i found where it was supposed to be and there's only one more left so i'm actually gonna go ahead and grab this one too something like this is basically exactly what i've been looking for something that's a little bit taller that's like the same height as my tables pretty much so I can kind of put it in front of the tables and then the tables are also used for display of course and it didn't look long enough to like be the same length as my table so I'm gonna get two to put in front of the table and I think it's gonna work out really well because obviously it folds up a whole bunch so I'll let you guys know of course in my next market 
how it goes, but this is in the laundry section of Walmart, just so you know. And only the $16 each, I don't think it's bad for something that would fold up like that and be really convenient. But anyways, I think that's it. I'm gonna go get some apples because my mom needs apples for the recipe she's making for dinner tonight. And then that'll be it. So I will show you guys a little haul of everything I got when I'm back home. All right, you guys. So I did pick up quite a few things at Walmart. But first, I want to actually show you an item that I purchased on Amazon that I bought after my most recent market. So you guys haven't seen it yet. So I figured since I'm doing a little haul portion from today's video, I might as well show you it now. So this is this honeycomb display, which is actually a cupcake display, but I'm going to be using it for my little bees. So I have a little bee here that is made with Parfait Chunky Yarns and my own free bee pattern if you are interested in checking out the pattern. And as you can tell, it fits perfectly in these little honeycombs. So I'm so excited about this. This was on Amazon. I will link it below for you guys. And my next market will be the first time I have this as a display. So I'm super excited to have it. And I think it's going to be super cute with all of the bees in here. But anyways, just wanted to share this with you since it is a new display item that I just got and you guys haven't seen it yet, except for on my Instagram because I do share this kind of stuff on my Instagram story, like as I'm buying it. So if you guys want to see it in real time, my Instagram story is the best place to be. But anyways, I do have two more items from Walmart that I bought on a separate Walmart trip that I also wanted to show you. And then we'll get on to what I actually bought today, which was also Walmart. So I got these two food jars, which these are actually glass. I tend to try to only get plastic ones, but I thought that these would just be really cute. So I got them for mini gummy worms and gummy bears. And this was actually in the food section at Walmart. So it is an actual like food container. And I think it's gonna be a super cute little display item for gummy worms and gummy bears. So it kind of looks like this is something that you might have in your kitchen cabinet, you know? So anyways, I bought these. I'm not sure exactly how much they were, but I should be able to find the exact ones on walmart.com. So I will link that below. And everything that I'm sharing with you, I should be able to find the exact thing either on Amazon or on Walmart. So I will link them below. But anyways, on to what I actually purchased today that you guys saw in my shopping. So I actually find a lot of my display items in the kitchen section at Walmart. And the kitchen storage items seem to be less expensive than the regular storage items. So that's kind of a life hack for you if you want basically the same type of items, but for a little bit cheaper, go to the kitchen storage instead of the regular storage area. But anyways, this is a two pack of the stackable bins and I'm not sure if you can tell let me flip it around because this is a little bit of a bigger picture but there's also a little bit of a glare with the lighting so hopefully you can tell but anyways this is a two-tiered little shelf bin thing that is meant for like inside your pantry of course but I really like the white on it it'll go well with all the other white bins and stuff I have and I thought since it was two-tiered, it'd be nice to have on the tables to kind of draw your eye upward because that's more so what I've been going for. I have a lot of displays that are kind of like flat, but I want to improve my market displays by having displays that are like upward. So, you know, I have more room on one singular table if I stack things on top of each other, basically. So that was the thought process behind this storage shelf slash bin thing, whatever you want to call it. And the good thing is also going to be, I think I can remove one from the top of the other one for like storing it purposes and like taking it from markets. So anyways, I will of course let you guys know in my next market videos how this works out. And of course for all of my next market videos i will give you guys updates on how those items work out and if i suggest them and all of that but i am really excited to have those which that was actually twenty dollars and 98 cents it is a little bit expensive but it's like heavy duty at least it feels like the box is kind of heavy so hopefully it'll be like a good item that'll be sturdy and last me a long time so anyways that was the first thing i picked out and then this is gonna sound really weird, but give me a second to explain. I got two packs 
of these S hooks for shower curtains. And these are the Better Home and Garden brand. They are a set of 12 for each one. So I have 24 of them total, which is probably way more than I need. I will probably only use 12, especially to start out with. But I went ahead and got two of them. They were $7.98 each. So my idea for these is we actually have an old clothing rack that I think my sister and I used to use for like our play, like dress up clothes and stuff. We still have that in our garage. And I am going to start using that for markets. And I am not the type of person to make clothing items. As you guys probably know, I don't really do big projects. But I am going to start making purses and bags that I'm going to sell at markets. So these hooks are going to be to go on top of the clothing rack rod. That way the bags can hang off of these hooks, basically, is the plan. So I'm excited to have these two packs of them. Again, I'll probably only need one for a while. But as I make more bags and purses, I might need both of them. But either way, I have both of them for that purpose. Next, I got three things of paint, which also seem kind of weird, I'm sure. This is the Apple Barrel Matte in the color Peachy Pink, which is the color that I use for my Katie Bean Creative branding. And I wanted to get some more crates. If you guys have seen my market setups in the past, I have a few different crates that I use that are painted in the same color. I wanted to get some more, but Walmart was like completely out of them. At least they weren't in the normal like craft area that they're in. So I didn't pick up any today, but next time I'm at like Joanne or Michaels or Walmart, if they have it in stock, I'll be picking up some of those. And this paint is going to be to paint those bins. So I got three of these, they were 54 cents each. So not bad at all. And this, like I said, is the color that I used for my branding. And I have already used for the other crates that I already have that I've painted in the past. So of course I want them to all be the same color. So that's why I got three of those. And now for the final items, I got two of these and you guys saw me talking about this in the store. And I am probably the most excited about these just because these are like compactable four tiered shelves. So I have two different shelves that are three tiered ones right now, but they are not like compactable. Like they just stay the way they are. So for putting them in the car, it takes up quite a bit of room. So I wanted the other display items that I'm going to be getting from now on to be something that is compactable and like foldable. So that's what these are. It is called the Mainstays for Tier Multi-Purpose Cart and it was actually in the laundry section and they show it with like laundry detergent and towels and stuff on it. But I'm going to be using it for market displays like I already said. And I did get two of these. I'm only showing you one right now because they are kind of big. The other one's over there, I promise. And they were only $16.44 each, which I was also impressed by. But either way, this should be something that I can build while I'm at markets because it says easy to assemble, no tools required. So that's what I was looking for is something that I can keep like stored like this in my house and in the car and stuff and then on the day of the markets build it pretty easily so anyways that is this and that is the final two items that i picked up today so like i already said all the items that i showed you here today will be linked in the description box below as long as i can find them most of them i should be able to find unless it's like only in store deal but i don't think that's the case for all of these i'm pretty sure like almost everything at walmart you can buy in store or online but anyways all of it will be linked below for you guys as well as i just hope this video gave you some different display ideas that you have found helpful in today's video if you did find it helpful please to give this video a big thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what display idea that I mentioned today or what display item that I purchased was your favorite. I would love to hear all of that from you guys in the comments. And if you guys want to make sure you don't miss out on any videos like this one in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell. That way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. Liking and subscribing and commenting on my videos really does help out my channel. So thank you in advance if you do any of those things. 
Now, if you guys do want to see more from me, you can always check out more videos of mine, my blog, my Etsy shop, my regular shop, all of my social medias, and my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box of every single video for you guys. So, with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!